What's going on guys? We got some new stuff out here from fattack.com. This stuff will really light your day up. See what I did there? Anyway, we got Goon Beam, and this is a new flashlight company to us. We think they're really cool because their name is awesome and because they got some really cool stuff for the money that you spend. So what I have here, we're gonna do a direct comparison to what I would normally carry on a regular day basis. Now, I normally carry a Phoenix. Now this thing is Phoenix, F-E-N-I-X, which is fine. Uh, it's rechargeable, that's the reason why I like to carry it. Now I will also, every now and then, carry a Streamlight Pro 2XL or something like that. This is like a $52 flashlight from Streamlight. It's really not bad, but it's only 500 lumens. It's not that bright, and I'll show you right here that it's not that bright. Can you make out the fence line? Uh, kind of. Okay, so you can kind of see the fence line. This is with a Streamlight Pro 2XL. Now, the funny thing is, we can't shoot down here on, on my range, because that's where that is. That's facing my range. You can't shoot down here because of the uh, lawsuit we got going on, but I can shoot some flashlights down that way and film it. So, basically, that's a really crappy joke, but you know, if you see the videos, you'll know that we're getting sued for a shoot on our own property. Anyway, uh, US Law Shield, uh, BDGG is a promo code if you want to go help us out with that. Um, anyway, so we have the Phoenix UC35. UC35. This thing is supposed to be a thousand lumens. This thing is freshly charged. Like I said, it will charge with a uh, USB-C charger and it will also take, it's got a little rechargeable battery in here. If you don't want to recharge it and you need batteries, it will also take the C1232s or whatever they're called, the normal batteries that you put in everything. Um, that's what they have. And so this is supposed to be a thousand lumens. Now you can make out the fence line, correct? Yep. Okay. So we can see the fence line there and it's really not that bad. Now this light here is about 80 bucks. Uh, not that bad of light. I like it. I've had one that I've carried forever. Works just fine. Still recharges. Pretty cool. I do like this, but the stuff that we're getting on fattack.com, this goon beam, man, is be definitely better for the money, in my opinion. This is what they call their... Assault. Assault flashlight. So this is an EDC flashlight that has a little bit of a thing called mux. And then this thing right here will basically, if you put it on here, you can punch them in the face and it'll really hurt them. But uh, it also has a belt clip here. One thing I will say is that they come with a lot of different options. So in their packaging, they have uh, a lot of different stuff. They come with a charger already for the rechargeable battery that you get with this flashlight. Now, this one's dead, so we just put brand new CR123 batteries in it or whatever they're called uh, because this one was dead because we used the crap out of it. Now, like I said, comes with a charger, comes with a rechargeable battery. Not only that, it comes with a bunch of other uh, tools so that you, well, oh, that's actually for the other one. But this one will have the little end cap to make it deeper right here on the top. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the button will go deeper, it will go lower, and uh, it's got a bunch of different options, about three different options. And one of the options is having this belt clip with the little NUX thing on the side of it. Now this thing here is about $120, $129, something like that on fattech.com. It also is about 1,800 lumens, a little bit broader. So as you can tell, you can clearly mark it out, clearly make it out. I think this thing is a really tough flashlight. And I think it comes with a lot of different options. See, the differences in the Goon Beam and the Phoenix is that the Phoenix has a little bit uh, wider of a throw. So you've got something that is a little bit wider in the center, although the Goon Beam is a little bit tighter in the center. So what that means is that when you get a little bit further distance, you're gonna be able to see a lot further than you can with something that has a, a, a wider throw on it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that looks like a freaking light, like a lightsaber shooting up at the sky, man. Goon beam, and it's, it's I think they're pretty rad. And I, I gotta say, if I'm gonna buy any other flashlights, it's gonna be a goon beam. A lot of options that you can actually uh, implement, whether you want the NUX, whether you want the deeper uh, end cap or whatever you wanna call it, comes with a ton of different options. That stuff is on fattack.com where you can find goon beam at now. They also will have other stuff on there like weapon mounted lights. This one here is basically in the shape of a TLR-1. The thing I have to compare here with today is an Olight, Valkyrie, Val Valkyrie Pro 2A, whatever. Anyway, this Olight sucks. 
because it doesn't work. This one works. So this one here is about a thousand lumen light. It goes on your weapon mounted light. Uh, I think it's very bright for the money. I think that you can put uh, two CR2, one battery, two or two, I don't know what they're called, CR123s, but they will also come with a charger. They will also come with rechargeable batteries. So it already sets you up for success. This one right here is the one they're gonna have on fattac.com. Please go check out Goonbeam. It's a smaller flashlight company, but they make great quality products and we really, really like them. And uh, I think they're gonna send us more, some do, do some more testing on. Obviously, we'll probably throw these around a little bit, but hey, right now, they're getting ready to be on the site. So go check them out at fattac.com. That's the sponsor of this, this channel, sponsor of this video. It's the people who allow us to do things like this and get these things to get them to you. So go check it out at fattac.com. That's all I got for you guys. See you in the next one.